there's an ear you can fill, I won't judge. I'm no judge. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome, if you are new to the channel, to our soul tribe, our soul family, I'm very happy you're here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to get into your messages, message, messages <laughs> from your spirit guides. This reading is timeless and meant for you when you arrive here. So hello, whenever that is, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and also depending upon where you are in the world. Hello. <laughs> This, these readings can sometimes go quite deep, so I just want to mention that now. Other times it can be quite light. It really depends on the reading, the energy. I go where I'm led. I am beginning today with Enchanted Map Oracle cards, but I'm probably going to be bringing in quite a bit. I have a lot of various types of decks shuffled and around me, and I just go where I am led. So if you are here, there is a reason. It's because there is a message here for you. Before we get into your reading, I want to announce this month's giveaway, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards, the complete spiritual toolkit for transforming your life by Tori Hartman. If you would like to enter into the drawing, please watch, like, and share the reading. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with your notifications on and comment down below and please include in the comment that you're entering in the giveaway. By the way, if you were wondering about November's giveaway, Grim Alkin's Curious Cats Tarot, I haven't announced the winner yet. I have the winner. <laughs> I just haven't put it in the community tab. I will be doing that a bit later today, this weekend. I hope to have it up by this weekend. So stay tuned for that. We're going to get into reading, but before I do, I just want to remind you, all the links are below for all zodiac signs. They are no contact and or in separation love readings. However, I do want to let you know that I am beginning readings that are going to be love readings that are going to be more general. Whether I'm going to be making them exclusively singles readings or just general love readings, I haven't really decided yet. I'm going to come here and see where I am taken. However, with that said, it means that if you are interested in readings that aren't necessarily no contact love readings, make sure also that you're subscribed and have your notifications on so you know when I'm uploading. Also down below are no contact pick a cards, mystery readings, as well as very long, very in-depth twin flame readings. This also includes messages from your person, DM to DF readings, messages from their higher self. It's all down there, so feel free to check that out if you feel called to do so. Also down below is a link to me, my music. My name is Christine Ledoux. I almost said my name is christineledoux.com. <laughs> I guess it was for a long time. But that is me if you want to go down and check out more music if you heard the intro song and you enjoyed it. That is my music. You can listen to more music and also just get to know a little bit more about me. Also down there is my new merch store. And thank you, by the way, for those of you that have already been shopping. I really appreciate it. And also for those of you that have been donating to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. Really, it's without you, without this support, there would be no tarot closet. It's every single thing goes right back into the channel and it's it's quite a lot running a channel, as you know. There's a lot of things behind the scenes that you don't see. So thank you so very much for that. And the last thing, or the last two things, are all the decks I used today are going to be linked below. And the last thing is we do have a new private Facebook community where we get to know each other, go a lot deeper. There's a lot of transparency there. It is connecting to our Facebook accounts. If you are feeling drawn, please come over and join us. It's a very safe space. It is moderated. I would say highly moderated, but really everything is, including the channel, because, you know, there's just, sometimes we just want to keep out particular harmful energies, I want to say. So come on over there, say hello, and join us. I would be really happy to see you there and to get to know you better. I'm shuffled. 
and I'm ready to go, but I always like to get some real-time shuffling. Look, we have Moonlight and we have Heal the Ouch. Okay, guys, look at this. Look, I already have goosebumps. Look at this person here is looking down, not quite at the moon. Somebody's not trusting themselves or not feeling good about making a change. You are getting downloads right now. Look, we see this owl here. It's in the dark as well. The owls are the guardian of the night, I want to say. As we know, they can see in the dark. They're awake seeing things that we can't. This is the moon energy also coming through. This is somebody here is needing to look at something that maybe is too painful to look at. And you're going to know what I'm talking about. You might not, guys. This might be really buried. Connecting with that moon energy is the subconscious, and that can be things that we're afraid to see. The moon is here to illuminate you. Look at this. And this owl here is here to help you and give you the information that you need, whether that is simply, yeah, to wake you up. And look, there's a little bit of a, you see this hourglass thing here. Interesting. So something here is really time sensitive. By the way, this is coming to a six and that is about healing. And it can also be connected to Venus. That is the planet of love. That is the planet of beauty and love. Romantic love, yeah, but we're just talking about love here, guys. How you love, what's going on in the way of love, romantic or otherwise. It's about relationships. So let's see what is going on here. And also, yeah, that is connecting us to healing and needing to restore some balance and harmony. Can that be in a relationship? Can it be in your life? Of course. Look what we have here. This is coming to an 11. And I want to tell you that is a master number, and it's also a number of new beginnings. So things are moving here for you. And this is not surprising, guys. We're going to, we're going to see if they want to come back. We are still in. I'm <laughs> making sure the camera is not being crazy. It's usually out of focus by now. We are still in the energy of the total lunar eclipse on November 8th. The energy after the event is ongoing for around three months. That puts us into February. Deeply, deeply transformative times, guys. Really abrupt, sudden changes. Just kind of coming out of nowhere changes. And really, lunar eclipse is also a time of going in and what we saw, expressing secrets, looking for truths, finding truths, facing truths, whether you're receiving it, whether you need to give it to yourself. It's a really emotional time right now. And I want to say, I even, uh, the energy has been really strong in my readings lately. I'm just particularly strong. It's always strong, but it's really strong right now. And I've been, instead of saying fasten your seatbelt, I want to say, put on your floaty. And why am I saying that? Because this is emotional. It's a lot of stuff is coming up here, guys. It's an, it's, Diving in to the divine, that is the water, that is connecting us directly in the emotional energy. It's going in and cleansing yourself, that is what water does. It's purifying. Our body's made of water, but it's also not easy. It's emotional, isn't it? When we're diving into these emotional experiences we've had, what we're going through and what we might be repressing as we saw in the Moonlight card. That's a direct message in that moon energy of things coming up and things changing for you and you're not maybe trusting yourself as much as you could be. So that is very clear. Trusting your intuition is that is connected and there's something yeah, there's something that may have popped up in your life that you're needing to deal with that could be holding you back. We saw the Heal the Ouch card. And this particular energy really is a culmination of emotional cycles that have run their course. It's a lot of emotional attachment, attachments in general, whatever, that are no longer serving us. It's time to look at, at this stuff here and get into those emotional waters as cold as it might be and how far you might have to be till you get to land. 
where you feel safe and you can ground yourself and look back and get some perspective, it's important for you to go through that so that you can feel it and begin to heal and set your intentions for renewal. Have you ever noticed that when you're connecting to nature? By the way, we are under an Aries moon right now, guys. And <laughs> this right now in this particular moon where we're at is just so much about, yeah, just thinking about all the things that you have been planning and getting stronger, kind of loading up with new energy projects that you've been holding, like holding on to, I want to say. Now is the time. And in combination with this total lunar eclipse energy that we're feeling, it's a lot. I know and we're in the holidays if you're watching this in real time. But it's a great time to set your intention, things that you've been wanting to do that you that you haven't because something is holding you back. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be a ho. Okay, we're going to begin. These are also yours. I have a lot of decks around me. I just want to let you know, so don't worry. The Dragon's Lair. Wow. Bone Collector. Oh, gosh, you guys. Yeah, so this is something from the past here. Protecting Treasure. Guys, look, and it came back. The Moonlight card. Okay, I'm very goosebumpy. And I want to see what is coming here. And yeah, look, I know. <laughs> I have my swan out. Should an overall energy card want to come? That doesn't always happen, I have to say, in my message from your spirit guides readings. It might be happening. We will see. Look, talisman. Wow, guys. Yeah, look at this. This is so um, much about your new beginnings and what you're needing to look at slow and steady okay <laughs> you're reading already here i want to tell you it's coming to a three what is the three it's the divine it's also divine timing and connecting with the source your god your goddess the universe it's also about growth and look this came back here the moonlight of what it is that you're not wanting to look at. However, you're showing up. Look, you're here. You're here at this reading. And yeah, that might sound silly, but it's because you're looking for some clarification for what you already know. Or you're looking to dig deep and, and get a little bit of guidance for somebody to pull out the subconscious of what is there, but you just might not be seeing it. You may come here and know there's stuff in the tip of your mind that you're you're coming here for answers. You're showing up, not just here today, but you're showing up for yourself. We see that, but you're not completely showing up. There's something you're not wanting to look at here. This is a reminder, slow and steady. Slow and steady doesn't always. I want to say, that, what is the saying? Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> yeah, it's not a race. Your life's journey is on your time timeline it's your clock here and that's a reminder look do you see that little hourglass this is not because and it's clear to me now it's just not because you're running out of time you can stand here until you're ready and turn that over and let the sand go through again and turn it over you don't want to be there too long that's a little bit like I want to say the Four of Swords in some ways, the Hangman energy, the Hermit card energy of going in. It's a little bit of a time of uncertainty, I feel like, some indecisiveness, some struggles within yourself. You don't want to be there for too long, but you want to be there for as long as you need to. And that also comes in of trusting yourself, letting your intuition guide you. Trusting your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels, guys. You can turn this over and stay there until you're ready to look up at the moonlight, which you're, you're basking, basking in. Why can't I say that word right now? To let that, let that illuminate you and illuminate you down to the core so that you can see what you need to see. Eventually, we're going to also see the sun again the sun and the moon 
They coexist, they keep the earth on its axis here, balanced. And that's what we want to get for you. And that's where we can see it's not. And this is a direct reminder with the slow and steady that it's okay. Just breathe here. It, it's not all going to happen at once. And I want to tell you, this is a new beginning. This is all the potential and the opportunity. And we're in that right now under this Aries moon all the things that have been stored up in you. And I wanna say something to you. Ancestral trauma is coming through. It's strong. What is ancestral trauma? It's the things that get passed down through generations, also right from our parents. And we wanna stop that too for ourselves and for our the next generations, don't we? It's hard. I know it is. It's really clear, but there's also just something in the past, too. It's not necessarily, it is ancestral trauma, we see it, bone collector. But it's also something from the past that, look, it's time for you to look at, look at this. My gosh, you see this little bunny, this little har, this rabbit. It can be matters of the heart for some of you, and it can be romantic or otherwise, and we already saw that coming in for you. We saw that with Heal the Ouch, that for some of you, this connection to Venus is a romantic connection. It's not for everyone. It's really just about love in general in our lives. But this is also about a new beginning. This is completely about a new beginning. And when we talk about moving on from the past and getting over the past or dealing with the past, it, it can sound so trite. It, can't, it does. It, it can sound really... Like, oh, it's so easy to say, move on. I know it's not that easy, and that's not even what I mean here, because you have to go in, and we saw that. Where did we see that? <laughs> yeah, the emotional waters. I feel like I'm not seeing where that was. Anyway, we know that you need to dive in, and we know that you need to see, go in through those emotional waters, and deal with something here from the past. Now, whether this is regarding a romantic love interest or somebody that you really loved or something that you really love that there's a memory here, whether it's ancestral trauma and you know it or not, or something even from your childhood or with another person, there's a memory that you're holding on to. And when you're holding on to these things that happened to you and these things that were passed down to you, whatever it may be, it lives in your body. They live in our body and they create things that go on with us. They create things like headaches and stomach aches. And yeah, of course, it can be connecting to things we do and don't do, things we do that harm ourselves and things that we don't do that's harmful that we should be doing. It lives in our body and it has to be released. And that is just what is really strong here, that there is something here that you're kind of showing up for, but you're not completely because, yeah, you're know, wanting to look up these downloads. Your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors are saying, it's time. It's all right, honey. Look. Look at how happy <laughs> the bone collector is. Look how happy the bone collector is, guys. Because it's a new beginning, safe here, safe, understanding. It's all in due time. Look, slow and steady, guys. What is it that you're holding on to that you know, or maybe you don't know, but look, let's get deeper in to why why particular things now are causing you some hurt or causing you to feel a little stuck, showing up, not showing up. It's going to be different for everybody here, what exactly that is. But it's clear if you're here that it's happening. Look, in protecting your treasure, this is 12. That makes it a three. It's more about your growth, your spiritual journey, some shadow work here. We see it in your past here, guys. Look at the dragon's lair. It's the dragon breathes fire, fire, the passionate energy, the movement, the, the how we are inspired to get things done. The fire is little. It's here, though. 
just, I'm going to go back to that message in a minute, but this is coming in now. We'll look at that in a second, okay? It's here now, just like you're here. But we need to get this fire roaring. <laughs> so this dragon can channel that fire, can transmute the fear, the pain, whatever is going on here, the feeling of needing to guard yourself. Okay. Yeah, for some of you, this is something with your childhood. This is not for everybody, but it's really clear. Look at this. Protecting yourself here. You have an umbrella and you still have a little messenger here. That's your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors wanting to get these messages to you. You have the fire. You're a dragon. That's what you do. And they're, they're all about strength. You have the fire. You have the, the cap capability to breathe fire. That is connecting us directly to the fire energy and the inspiration. It's there. Look. Can inspire. Trust yourself and get that fire and whoo, <laughs> melt that, that ice, the snow. It's not a terrible place. It's just showing us that there has been some energy here that's a little stuck. It's, it's still Stillness is not a bad thing. We want to get you on the side of stillness that is, yeah, doing the, still doing the internal work is what I want to say. It doesn't mean we're running around and doing this and doing that and I'm going to call, you know, yeah, no. Slow and steady, guys. But there is a reason you're here today and it's time. This is also coming to a 13 and I want to tell you something. It's coming to a 4. And what is that? The four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. And we see that there's an out of balance here. This need to feel like you need to protect yourself. And you also re really need to, for some of you, and I say really need to, I need to rephrase that. For some of you, this is about, well, we already know for everyone, this is your spiritual journey. But look, we see the crown here connecting us directly with the crown chakra. Messages from spirit, guys. The top of your head, that's where it goes, but you don't have it on. You're not wearing it. You're kind of curled up in protective mode, protecting yourself, protecting your heart. Yeah. But look what is right in the front here. And when I say the heart, Love, romantic, maybe for some of you, but this can also just be connected to family energy, ancestral energy, loving yourself. And look what is here right below. Look at the mushrooms, and there's two balancing things out here. For some of you, this is clearly about romantic love, but it's just not for everybody. But these mushrooms, do you know when there is a fire? When there is a fire, you know what comes up first after the fire? Mushrooms. They're about rejuvenation, renewal. This is so much. This energy right now is so transformative. It's the total lunar eclipse energy that we're in. And it really is setting your intentions for renewal, rejuvenation. Look, it's lighting up saying, look at me. Come up, listen to me. It's messages from spirit literally saying, it's okay. You can move that umbrella and let, let the emotions come because it's more of that protective energy as i said of not wanting to go in because the water is cold for some of you it's even frozen and i don't mean literally going in the water <laughs> you know that but i need to say that but it's feeling those emotions it's feeling things that that just trigger you and just you just go oh no yeah no i'm not going there no no i'm too busy busy, but you're not really, there's something here that needs to be dealt with so you can take care of yourself and be busy in the way you want to be, which is clear right now too, which is, yeah, getting stronger and going after these projects for some of you that you've been putting off that you want to start because there's so many, there's so much noise. I feel here guys, that you kind of shut it all off. So then everything kind of gets shut off and you just get into survival mode and you just do the things that you need to do and you neglect yourself, neglect your wishes. It's a really faint rainbow here. It's about hope, 
rainbows come after the storm. This rain actually looks very peaceful because this is right before the ending. The rainbow's already coming. So whatever it is, it's time. Look, this bone collector <laughs> with, all, with everything from the past year is smiling because it's a new beginning. That doesn't mean that we're all smiling through it. I understand, of course not. But it's time, quite literally. This little messenger here is saying, and it's coming to help you move some emotional blocks. And that's part of it, is not dealing with it, because there's some emotional blockage. Moving that umbrella and letting that, letting the emotions, letting it wash over you. Coming up, putting on your crown, connecting your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, the source, your God, your goddess, the universe. What is that for you? More importantly, connecting with yourself. Setting your intentions, looking up, letting the moonlight illuminate all of it. I know. Who? Who wants to look at all that? Particular issues, some new ones too. And making some changes that you want to make, you've been wanting to make. Just look at it. Go over there, put your crown on, open up your treasure chest and look at what it is that you want for yourself. Could be one thing. Maybe you just want to get out more. Maybe you've been wanting to write a particular letter. Maybe you want to go really deep. Maybe it's as simple as wanting to start a fitness routine or see your friends more, whatever. It's deep for some of you. And as I talked about in the beginning, it's clear. For some of you, this is, I feel like, yeah, you're getting ready to move out of this. For others, it, it does feel real heavy. Like you really need to go ahead, look over, turn it over again. All right, I got it. The renewal, look at all the peacock feathers around the ferns. Here, the growth going on. Connecting with your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors. Turning over as long as you need to, slow and steady when you're ready. I didn't mean for that to be a poem, <laughs> a bad poem, but there you go. And opening up that trunk with your crown on, feeling that rain and, and getting in it and waiting for that rainbow, feeling that hope, letting it wash over you. Guys, getting that clarity and that renewal and looking at what is in there and revisiting what you need to re revisit. For some of you, it goes really, really deep here. I see that. And either way, we want to get you looking at that moon Getting up here, putting on your crown, <laughs> breathing that fire, setting your intentions, inspired action. Just, yeah, you don't want to burn it down, but you need, we need to get some, some of that wand energy, I feel like, coming in. Look at the path ahead. Holding on to it here, it's lighting your way. Hello, excuse me, I looked up and the camera was gone. <laughs> Most inopportune times. As I was saying, the path ahead look really pulling you forward here, helping you to balance everything out. That's the four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, fear, physical, and spiritual, excuse me. And there's, it's out of, it's not balanced. And it's clear, and look what's here. Also, the yin yang. For some of you, this is very clearly connected to love, and even for some of you, a twin flame journey. Not everybody here is is getting their romantic messages or energy. So it's real specific when I say that. If it's not for you, let it go. And as always, as always, take what's for you. Let the rest go. Take what's for you and get it in your body. Let's replace some of those Harsher emotions that are affecting you physically that you're holding on because they will stay in your body. Events, traumatic events, things that happen to you, ancestral trauma to other people, all these things leave, live in our body and they affect our, our health in every way, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So it's clear that there is an imbalance. And look, you're not quite on the, the, the yin yang here. And again, going back into the love, I just will say, for those of you on a twin flame journey, this is about your shadow work 
and you rebalancing also your divine feminine, your divine masculine energies. And for anybody here, that's what this is about. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies. We can overcompensate and have an overabundance of masculine energy or feminine energies. A wounded feminine, a wounded divine. And I won't go too far into that, but I want to just touch at that a little bit to say that also is part of everything here. And it's why we will react to people certain ways, why we treat ourselves certain ways, both good, both bad. It's the imbalance is what I want to tell you. And there's one foot here, look, kind of hovering over. It's not, and this foot isn't even quite on, but it's being pulled here to get you on, get you balanced so that you're not wobbly here on this cliff. You don't want to fall into the divine from here. <laughs> we want to get you on the path that you've cho you're choosing to walk here. And it's going to be wobbly and, and you're going to sometimes go, oh my God, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm going to fall off here. We want to get you stabilized so that you can walk this path into this light, the darkness to the light. Does that mean that everything is perfect? No, of course not. Look what it's right next to. The talisman is right next to the slow and steady going out on this walkabout here and gaining the knowledge that needs to be gained, connecting with their self with yourself. Slow and steady. Look at this. Slow and steady. The four areas of support and stability. The imbalance. Slow and steady. You get there. Even here we have two really bright. It's about balance. Then there's another two there, making that a four again. Going toward your destiny, guys. For some of you, this is really connected to love. A faded connection. This is not a love reading. But if you're connecting in that way, then that's how you're connecting. And this is a, as a snail shell. This is not Venus here. This is a snail shell. And that's where we see the slow and steady coming in. And, you know, snails can just stop abruptly <laughs> on their path. And they can go underground for two or three years. I think it is, they come up and they just continue on <laughs> their journey, slow and steady. They persevere, the snails. Yeah, it's your journey. I'm going to bring in another deck. Just a minute, I want to see where I am drawn. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please show us the card or cards as it may be? Aho. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts, peace. Oh, this is also coming off. We're going to look at it. Yeah. And this is what we touched, talked about a little bit too, but I want to talk about it again. When we tell ourselves old stories that we may have absorbed that we don't even realize from ancestral trauma, or we've been telling them because of what happened to us, some trauma or triggering events, some wounding. Wounding can be real simple. It can be just something when we're younger and somebody handles something a particular way because they're also wounded. So they're, everybody's doing the best that they can. Most of us. And Wounding can just be something really simple. You know, you don't realize it. And when I say simple, it's not. But I think you are following me, I hope. That you just may not think, what? That's not wounding me. Yeah. We don't need to, we don't compare ourselves to other people, but they have it worse. Yeah, but this is your journey. This is not about them, okay? This is about you. And there's clearly some wounding going on here that you might not even know about, is what I want to say. And all of that ancestral for some of you past lives, not everybody believes in that, okay? So I'm not going to go into that. But I want to say all these things, it's a culmination. <laughs> it's exactly the lunar, the total lunar eclipse energy that we're still feeling too. A culmination of the emotional cycles. And they live in our body. 
And again, they create physical ailments, they create uh, disharmony, I want to say, in relationships, disharmony with ourselves, not saying, not handling things how we want, maybe, whatever, saying, telling ourselves old stories and reliving things, but not actually dealing with them. And this is about some of those stories and some of those things that we tell ourselves, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Thoughts become beliefs. And then your beliefs become actions or inactions. They paralyze you. They paralyze us. And this is not, you know, this, this can, this is our life's work, isn't it? Our life's journey. It's not the destination. The destination is the journey. That's the destination. So however you're going about that, whether it's for you, physical activity, connecting with your soul tribe, your soul family, even if it's one person, dealing with something you know that you want to deal with, or things coming up for you, talking to someone, whatever that is for you, it really is different for everyone. It's a complete picture and it's not about just going in and being overwhelmed and laying on the couch and saying, okay, I can't do any of this because that's kind of how it feels. So it's just finding that thing. And this is just about the thoughts. Just remember that when you say something to yourself negatively or you tell yourself old negative stories about who you are or what you can't do or whatever, that those become beliefs and you live, they live in your body and then they keep you immobile or you do things you don't want to do. We want to replace that. We want to alchemize those fears and negative thoughts and transmute them and we want to turn them around for you. So you can recognize it and say, okay, yeah, no, no. Why are you saying that to yourself? I, I can do this. I will do this. This is what I deserve. Okay? Replacing those negative thoughts here, dissolving them. So that the beliefs can be positive ones that you deserve. And you do deserve it. I don't care what you think you've done or has happened to you. Okay, and these things also are not your fault. These traumatic things that I feel for some of you coming in and clearly the ancestral trauma, but we want to be able to recognize that so we can stop it, you know, it stops here. It's the sun, it's the source, your God, your goddess, the universe. It's an outcome for you that is... A happier outcome doesn't mean happy-go-lucky all the time. Of course not. But it means some peace that I feel you're here for today that you need. It's one day and that, that day you're able to get something really important done. Okay? Sometimes we look at people and we think, oh, they're so enlightened or they're so here. Or, yeah, I wish I could. Because we all do that. We don't. And people are so busy doing their own thing, they're not thinking about us, <laughs> you know? And they're not where we think they are. Maybe they are to some extent, but they're human. It's the human condition. There's still stuff going on with them. And they're on their journey, love and light to everybody on their journey. We want to get you on yours so that you can, yeah, have peace in your heart like you deserve, okay? And, and, and again, it won't always be. Sometimes it'll be wobbly here. And sometimes you might fall into this emotional energy. You might fall off this cliff here and be forced to deal with things in that way. And I got to say, you know, when this total lunar eclipse energy that we're still feeling, things are abrupt right now and sudden. So, and some things might be popping up for some of you and you're like, ooh, and especially now if you're watching this in real time, we're in the holidays and we're, we're getting around people sometimes that we haven't seen you know, or that connect us too to some trauma or some triggers. Got to go in there with your light around you. Okay. And I want to talk about this in a way that's respectful, but remembering that if there are people that you really just feel that are harmful for you, you have a choice. You may, you can make a choice about who you are around. And if it's someone you feel, no, I have to go. There are things you can do before you go to some of these events. And this is just kind of a real time talk right now and getting into a little bit of meditation, something you love 
piano five minutes, art, drawing, calling a friend, taking a walk, petting your cat, whatever. And thinking, going into these events or around these people with intention and saying, okay, this might come up and this might come up and boy, do they trigger me. And this triggers something in me. Because I feel this for some of you is quite literally, and it's not for everyone. And did you hear that vocal jump? Wow. It's not for everyone, but for some of you, this is like moments now. And you can go in there and spend a little bit of time working on building yourself up here and going in with the light around you, okay? And limiting as much as you can being around those that are no longer serving you or that are harming you. You have that. It's your choice, okay? And if you feel like it's not, then we, we, you need to get yourself suited up a little bit, you know? And go in there and just protect yourself and remind yourself so that you can get in and get out and be around those that, yeah, that are good for your peace and your heart. Okay, I'm going to stop. This is here. Ganesha. Clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. It's more of that energy, too, for some of you. It's quite literally, this is real time. But in general, it's the same message. It's the exact same message here, guys. We already know that. It's clearing away these obstacles. The protecting yourself, as we just talked about, but there's also a certain amount that might block you. Accepting the guidance that's coming to you, these downloads, and what, what are downloads? People ask about that. Well, I could get really... Um, <laughs> I could really go in and to downloads, but I'm not. I'm just going to say these, your, your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors are connecting with you and energetically also the universe, the earth, and sending you signs. And this can be people, numbers, animals, all the typical ones. But the main thing I want to talk about here is yourself and your gut instinct, your intuition, your gut guidance here. It's not just in a reading, of course. I mean, this is one piece of, small piece of a, a huge life, okay? But trusting yourself and where you're going here and understanding that it's a little bit wobbly. And guidance as well, I want to tell you, is also coming in the way of people in our lives. And even those that have come in that we know of or that we don't know of that have wounded us traumatize us, whatever. I, I don't love this. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I can't offer that to you, but I can say that you can take what's happened to you and you can alchemize that and you can use it and let it drive you and let it get your fire going and get this castle up here in the light thought out so that you can get up and down the steps so this dragon has its capabilities back. You can take the stuff you know and look for what you don't, the subconscious, and let it put a fire under your belly. Some of these, the most successful people as we know, and, and I don't want to get into that too far really because that just causes anxiety, I feel, of measuring ourselves against other people. What other people are doing is none of our business. It's their journey. Congratulate them. Send them love and light. Of course, support them. Support those that you love. Get around the people that support you, your soul tribe and your soul family. But a lot of times these people, you know this already, their stories are who? This, the bone collector. They go deep in how they got this fire under their belly and why they put this crown on and stood up and swung open this trunk and said, I'm getting this out. I want this and this and this. That's your gold. You got it. You got a trunk of gold. And that's you. And that's your heart. And that's your spirit and your beautiful soul. And this thing called life, which is crazy hard sometimes. But we're in it. You're here. You're in it. You're here and you're in it. It's four again. Four areas of support and stability. 
mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical, balancing you out. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Aho. Movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. Yeah. It's the cycles of life, the eternal dance. This is coming to a 10, new cycle, movement. It's moving forward taking inspired action. Where did that go? The peace, that's an eight, by the way, 26. That's a number of accomplishing something, taking action, also manifesting. It's considered a, a lucky number, by the way. Yeah, connected to Gaia energy, healing energy, connected to some karmic energy. We all have got karmic debt. Sometimes we're paid up. <laughs> Sometimes we're not. It's just how it goes. It's not becoming from another life. Again, you know, if you're not, if you don't believe in that, that's okay. I won't go too far into that today, but it's coming through. And the main thing is here is that action and it's a new cycle. Look at this. Look at this. It's really quite beautiful. Movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. Slow and steady wins the race. This can quite literally mean some of you dancing. <laughs> that's not going to be for everyone, of course, but that's a real literal message for someone here. Slow and steady. Keep going, guys. In life, we're here. We're alive. We're breathing. We're loved. We're needed. You're meant to be here. Your life matters. You matter. It's emotional because I'm feeling you here. Some of you, it's deep. You're fine. You're going to be okay. I know. Maybe you're like, I'm not fine. I know, but you will be okay. And then it'll come again and you just keep doing the dance, teetering the line. Sometimes you're going to go in and there's going to be your soul family and your soul tribe, even if it's a one person or a stranger a soulmate coming in to help you here if you fall off. Soulmates can be romantic or otherwise, and they come in for a reason. It could be family members. Yeah. It's okay if you're going in here. You know? You're going to be okay. Get you back. Get you balanced and on this path. Movement. The wheel of life. It's the cycles of life, guys. Fate. Destiny. A new start. And I feel a soulmate for some of you around you or coming in that is coming in to help you. Who is it? You might not even know. You might not even recognize them because it's not like somebody comes up and says, hey, the grocery store, I'm supposed to meet you. I'm here. I'm here to bring this into your life, which is going to take you to this next step. But you also got to get out there. Do your thing. Okay. Do your thing so that you can connect with those that you are meant to connect with. Okay. It's hard to make these cards all <laughs> show, you know. I want you to be able to see everything here, but it's just not possible. So I'm going to get another deck. And yeah, I guess we're going to get close to closing your reading. I'm going to bring in a wisdom of the oracle or two, whatever wants to come in. Then we're going to close on some affirmation um, cards. And then I'm going to pull a fairy stone for you, okay? I think I'm feeling inspired to pull a fairy card, too. We see the fairies all over here today. That's also connected to fate and destiny, guys, which are connected to your free will and your choices. Controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. Controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Aho. These are yours. Yeah. You're not finished yet. There's something here we know. It's a new cycle, though. Look. 
for some of you, this is really connected to love, but it's not for everyone because the main thing here that there is something in your life, a connection, a goal, possibly a relationship. When I say connection, it could be romantic or otherwise. Harmony within yourself, this musical, this piano, the notes, making peace. This is about peace and harmony. It's with you here. You're not done yet. <laughs> you got a lot to give. And there's something here we know that you need to deal with. This is about peace and harmony, I want to tell you. It's a little bit of a joker here. So, yeah. I know that it's... When I, when I kind of laugh and, you know, lighthearted, it's not that everything is so easy. I know that. But this is how... Yeah, this is how... This is how the reading is going today. Oh, wow, look. Yeah. It's a new beginning. And again, the happy, happy card coming down. Oh, somebody's saying, yeah, well, I'm not there. And, oh, it doesn't mean anything. It does. It doesn't mean every single second of the day we're happy, happy. <laughs> like I said earlier, look, there's the rainbow. There's the rainbow also a direct connection with the divine. Your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, these fairy wings, fate and destiny lit up, glowing from the rainbow, from having that hope after what is going on here. Does it mean it's never going to rain again? Of course not. That we might not slip, that we might be unbalanced here, that we might end up here again looking at the moon, not, wa not wanting to look at the moon, the, the subconscious. Things are changing and it's just too, of course... So it's life. It's the cycle. We're all in it, guys. But I love this for you. And there's that eight again. Accomplishing something. Whether that is a moment that allows you to take a next step. It doesn't need to be huge. My eyes are itching. Yeah, I see. You can see. You can look up and you can see. I feel that. It's a new cycle here. Right on the knowing egg, connecting here directly, here as well. And really, are we ever finished? I talk about this in my readings a lot because what is that? Because yeah, it's not the destination. It's the destination is the journey. This is your journey. It's personal to you. A lot of people are involved in our journeys. But ultimately, when we come in with ourselves, and that's how we're going out in our connection. Okay, I'm going to end on some affirmation cards, guys. And then we're going to get a fairy stone and close the reading. I have a couple here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be a ho. All of my thoughts are directed toward my highest good. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Thoughts become beliefs, become actions or inactions. We want to turn that around for you. Look, it's the star, it's completely illuminated. It looks like the moon too. And the star energy connected directly to the renewal, to the hope that is here, that is for you. All of my thoughts are directed toward my highest good. That's what we want for you. These two are yours. My life is deliciously joyous. <laughs> the pleasures. It's also connecting us to Venus as well. Gotta say, what do you love? <laughs> what do you love to drink? Boy, is this apropos right now, isn't it? Silly, but it's true. Little pleasures, guys, can bring us great joy. Little pleasures, little pleasures, our favorite drink, our favorite meal, our favorite person, our favorite animal, our favorite walk. Go and do it, please. Or all of them, or one. All the stuff can keep us immobile so that we're not even doing the stuff that we like. Some of you are, and you're saying, oh, yeah, I'm in that, and that's good. 
I am a radiant, glorious, powerful being power. Yeah, look. Reaching for the star. We see it here. Look at this. Stars are here with the moon. Stars, the moon, the sun. All the planets, we know. We know what the universe is. And this is also that fiery energy that we see here in the dragon's lair. This new cycle coming here. The power that's in you can't even be just, you need to get it going because this is, we are under that Aries moon, guys. It's just been stored up in you and let it strengthen you and go for what you want. And if it's in little steps, that's okay. I talk about the deeply transformative time and that sometimes can be overwhelming, you know, because you think, oh, okay, oh my God, I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm not, <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, it is transformative, but it can be a little thing that makes big changes. Do you know what I'm saying? Little things, making a call, taking a walk, whatever, bumping into someone that you wouldn't have otherwise. Soulmate energy, as I said, romantic or otherwise, guys, somebody that's around you. Or somebody that's coming. I have somebody who is part of my soul tribe at the grocery store. <laughs> As you know, I'm in an expat in Austria, and it's not always easy, I'll tell you. And it was she was one of the first people that I connected with when I got here, and it just never fails. I, I just leave so full when I see her. Five minutes in line, you know. We always see each other's soul. When we see each other, we acknowledge each other, and it can be very brief. And you can have those moments really with your, with your animal, with a, a neighbor, a stranger, yourself. These periods of clarity and grab onto them. And This is the last deck, Living Life. I have a video on my Instagram, which is quite sad. <laughs> It's that song, Unstoppable, with Horace. It's my favorite. If I start to watch it, I just get stuck and I can't get out of it. If you want to go check it out, I recommend it. it. It puts a fire in your belly. It literally does this to you. It's brief, but it's just another one of those moments, isn't it? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Aho. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change at all times. Who, yeah. It's the sudden change here going on now, guys. And it's the little things too. It's not just, as I said, all the abrupt. True freedom is very close. It's just on the other side of your walls. What a beautiful message. Okay. Please show us the card or cards as a uh ho, -oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. I don't know where that ended, but this card just went flying. You are a great being who has been given a tremendous opportunity to explore beyond yourself as yours and it's true yeah that's the one here it's the new beginning that's the it's the bone collector guys the opportunity all the potential it can be really little remember that okay life is not easy but it's beautiful let's get a fairy stone and close your reading. Yeah. Your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors are still trying to reach you. <laughs> Look. It is a bird. It's a messenger. It's quite literally messages from your spirit guides here. Validating that what resonated for you is true and to be open to receiving. Always trust yourself. Let your intuition guide you and trust those gut instincts. These are your guardian angels. I love you all. Take very good care of yourselves. All the links are below.
you know, everything's there. I'll see you at your next reading. Bye.